Look what we did with these guys. I'm not the best fisherman in the world. I just love to do it. And we're on just like that. Got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yes. It's time to announce a trivia winner from the last video, and it's Christian Rosa, all the way from Italy. Congrats, you got all the questions right. Guys, there's another trivia question coming up at the end of this video for your chance to win a shout out. What you guys don't know is, since we're quarantined, I can do this whole video without wearing pants. So we just pulled over on the side of the road in a random ass parking lot. <laughs> Traffic going by. I got my fishing rod here. I got the St. Croix Bass X. I've got the rattle trap. Got a rattle got trap. A little Shimano Quado on here. All right, one of the perks of living in Miami is being able to just go fish wherever the hell you want. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're literally parked on the side of the road trying to catch fish here. Oh! oh. I think there is a fish here. <laughs> Hold on. Let me yeah. try and get this guy. Yeah. He looked mad. Something hit you. And we're on just like that. I just said, this is the angle I need. Oh my God, that's a nice one too. Nice. Nice, nice rainy day fishing in between the bridges in Miami. Good size. On the artificial, baby. Nice little male. Sweet. Right here. Rush that rattle trap, bro. Yeah, you did. Nice. Oh, beautiful peacock. Despite everything going on in the country, I am still proud to be an American. You know, my eyes are slanted, but I am an American through and through. But I never liked seeing the flag, you know, in the mud on the ground, crumpled up. So I decided just to kind of pick it up, straighten it out. But I wanted to leave it there because I know there's other anglers that go to this spot and hopefully they can see that flag and, uh, Snap a few pictures showing some pride as well. Hey, thank you for the fight, man. Nice. Put you back. Send them home. Beautiful. Oh, that's it. He was ready to go. Just like that. Pull over. So oh, bro. That was just something chasing. You should face. randomly like cast. Yeah. Oh, don't slip, bro. I need you to film me. Oh no! Oh my gosh! From the bridge! From the bridge! No! Alright, we're just gonna go under the bridge down here. Yep, yep. Woo, it's slippery. Gotta be careful. Oh! Like, it's legit slippery. Alright, so I didn't have a good angle from up top, so I'm gonna come under here yep. and uh, see if I can hook this fish. He broke me off the first time. So, I'm not sure exactly why. I felt like the hook was in good, but you know, that's a part of fishing. Sometimes it happens. And I'm not the best fisherman in the world. I just love to do it. <laughs> wow, this is my first time. I mean, I made a lot of aquariums before, but this is like the best aquarium I've ever made. Da 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 da, I'm loving it. Look what we did with these guys. All right, so we just finished filming uh, the video for Monster Mike's channel. Obviously we have a McDonald's Cup Aquarium, so you wanna make sure you go check out that video. Um, I had the rattle trap on earlier before we went to go film and I missed my hook set on the fish. So now I'm actually gonna to try to use one of these aquarium fish quotations <laughs> and uh, see if I can catch me a, a peacock bass. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Right through the lips. That's where they like it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm using the Pin Battalion with the Florida Fishing Product Osprey 2500. Actually, which one is this? Yeah, the 2500. I got so many Florida Fishing Product Osprey <laughs> reels that I lose track sometimes. <laughs> but they're my favorite reels to use. Yep, and, uh, Florida Fishing Product. So all I'm going to do is drop this fish over the head. Do it. <laughs> we think live bait will be like easy, but hey, they're actually like hitting it less. <laughs> For those of you who are wondering or really pissed off that Monster Mike 
catches little fish and puts them in an aquarium, they don't go to waste, but they do die. You know, so basically we take them and we use them as bait because these are invasive species. So we are helping the ecosystem and helping the Florida wildlife by catching these small fish and using them as bait for larger fish such as peacock bass, bowfin, and largemouth bass. So quit getting your panties in a wad. We're using them the way they're supposed to be used. Oh, 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 bro, no! Okay, you still got your bait. You know what? Let him swallow it. He's hitting and spitting. <laughs> hey, hitting and spitting. I don't like them. <laughs> it's funny when people think we just go catch a fish real quick. It's not easy. Nope. We put in work for you guys and us for our own pleasure, but for you guys. <laughs> Come on, bro. What happened? You got stuck? I made it. Suck in the stomach, suck in the chest. You know, you know what, bro? Be careful. Suck in your heart. Suck in your um. I had to exhale. Oh, good, 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 oh, good, crap. good. You I made used it. To slide through that thing. <laughs> put my chest out. Hey, that quarantine we put on the next. Put on pounds. Weight. Yeah. So the boys of Slab Dynasty came down to Miami and they say, Yo, Brian, can you put us on some peacock bass? And I said, Yeah, why not? Got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yo, I literally just, just turned my GoPro off. We found those fry garters and passed it to him. He swiped at it. The giant one swiped at it. And I'm on, baby. I am on. Oh, he is ripping drag. Take me for a ride. You're good. There's no debris here, so oh, geez, hold on tight. Oh, he's, he's big. Oh, no. He no! 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 Oh. 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 Oh, I don't mean to put the camera in your face, but we got to talk about this. Y'all, oh, no, it's a huge peacock. Why? Why? Oh. Why? Have you still not landed one yet, Steven? Bro, that would have been a five pounder then, right? That four. thing was like five, like a four or five. Yeah. He, he like just lashed out at it and, and got hooked. Oh my God. Well, you have a fail video. Did, wasn't you that lost the other one? Yes. Fail video. Like double fail. Double fail. That's your title, double fail. <laughs> oh. It's all good. It happened twice in a day, but it happened. It's happened twice in a day for me, so yeah. I'm not going to say nothing. I mean, it, it we, we just don't put that in the video, right? We didn't put it in the video. Oh, man. Because that, 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 that was a big fish, guys. That was the biggest fish I've seen in probably like a month and a half out here. So uh, my heart, my heart hurts. My heart hurts. Hey, yeah, they're hurting. We're, they're, we're gonna have to take them to another spot after this. Yeah, they're hurting bad. If you want to see the redemption video for him losing this fish, head on over to the Slab Dynasty channel, hit the subscribe button, and start watching their videos because we had an amazing time fishing, and I can't wait for them to come back down to catch some more fish, maybe go on my boat, get some uh, snapper, some grouper, some snook, some sharks, some whatever the heck we can catch. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because uh, we're probably going to do that. So for Father's Day, I got this Glock 45. I decided to take my fiance to the range to go work on our carry conceal permits. And I had to hit up my boy Jim from Total Training Solutions here in Miami. He is one of the best weapons, firearms instructors around. And you know what? We had a great time. Here's a couple clips of us busting off on the on the target. And uh, yeah, just, just working on that license. Hey, comment below. Are you a gun person? Do you believe in the second amendment? I want to hear your opinions. Now we're going to get a good two-handed grip. Remember, relax the thumb, thumbs up. All right, once they say hello, and then one says good night. All right, good. Now push, pull, side to side. Focus on the front side, put it in the middle of the blur. Now move the trigger to the rear without disturbing the front sight and let it surprise you. Whenever you're ready. Bullseye. Front sight, reset. Finger off the trigger, bring it in. Outstanding. Outstanding. Hey, put it there. Right there. Come on. Good job. Yeah. Three seconds. Shooter ready? Ready. Wait for the tunnel. Three, 
point one five. Good. But remember, if you're handling a gun, always practice gun safety and trigger discipline. You never really want to aim it at anything unless you plan on destroying it. It's trivia time, guys, and here's your chance to win a shout out in my next video. All you have to do is comment your answers below, and I will pick one lucky winner to be shouted out in the next video. Whoa. And here we go. All right, trivia question number one. What's been happening to Mike and I under quarantine? Trivia question number two. Other than Monster Mike, who did I go peacock bass fishing with? Yeah. And trivia question number three. Who did I take to the range with me to fire my new Glock? Pew, pew, pew. Guys, comment answers below. Again, I'll pick one lucky winner to be shouted out in the next video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, the weather should be clearing out this week coming up and I hopefully can get my boat back out on the water I want to hit flamingo out in the Everglades and hopefully target some redfish and some snook and uh, Yeah guys, so make sure make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed make sure that notification bell is on and Go check out slab dynasty and monster Mike fishing. All right guys and until next time keep your head up Keep moving forward and tight lines. Z They say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just slay the dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're slicking the best.